Hello and welcome to the next uh, 10 minutes free tutorial for Touch Designer. In this small one I want to uh, speak a bit about audio play chop, uh, which is an efficient way to play back samples, especially if you have a bunch of samples. So first let's open the, uh, the let's the create a new audio play. And uh, it's quite simple. You have a path to the file. You have a trigger button. And you have three chop inputs, which are triggers, volume, and panorama. Uh, and this operator will play back a sample directly on a sound card. So it's avoiding to load the chop data in touch designer uh, what is interesting that you can not only load one file here but you have a dot list parameter where you can pass the table so inside of project i have a bunch of sample copied from the ableton library and using a folder dot i will load them from the sounds subfolder then I don't need name I only na need paths and I also don't need the first row including name of uh, the column so I will use select and se select rows from the first row and then drop that dot to the dot list parameter so now if I click on trigger <laughs> It will play back the first sample. So how I do play any particular sample from here. For that I need uh, to generate the uh, amount of channels including triggers by the number of the row. So let's make a small experiment. I will make, so let me set the BPM tempo 230. Let's make the beat chop and let's play back that samples randomly. For that I can set the period to 1, then I need pulse channel and using the count I can generate the counter and then using noise I will generate the random numbers. Uh, now I want to align these numbers from 0 to the end of the table. For that I can use a mat and in range I will set it to 0, uh, so from range minus 1 to range 0 to OP select 1 dot num rows minus one uh, select one sorry uh, so basically a uh, full num rows I don't uh, subtract one then in op uh, integer parameter I will set to floor so now every time the bit produce a pulse uh, mat will generate uh, so noise will generate random number and I will align it to the number of sample. Next step, I want to generate 36 channels. For that, I can use a fun operator and produce the channel names. So let's make an expression and let's set expression to channel square parenthesis zero until then I will put here the expression asking that select one for amount of column uh, rows that I should later convert to string then I do it integer and inside I will write again op select one dot num 
rows, in this case minus one. So it will generate uh, 37 channels and then I can bring the trigger, set attack to zero and connect the trigger to audio play. Voila, it's playing. Now, what we can do else uh, to make nice effects? So let's first check what kind of parameters we have here. We have play while on, we have trigger, and we have even loop. So if I click on trigger, it will play back the file, uh, the sample completely. If I set the mode to play while on, then the decay, sustain and release starts to act. So I can control the length of playback using the trigger shape. And I can also make loop. Cool. So uh, then uh, I can control the volume by the second channel and I can control the panorama by the input too. So let's generate another noise with different seed and using mat we should align that from range minus one to one to range zero to one. Now I can connect it to the last input and we can control the panorama. And last words, uh, there is also another way to control audio play. So let's create another audio or copy paste that audio play. Then disconnect all inputs. And now we can control that uh, audio play directly using, for example, the uh, chop execute so let's make chop execute and drop that noise to the chops and on value change we can write a uh, small script for which we going to use the audio play uh, object in Python. Uh, in this audio play chop object we have a special method called play and using that method we can control some parameters which are not available from the touch designer interface which are for example the delay seconds, fade seconds, uh, roll off, let's make maybe that script running from that mat and we just can get the number of input channel using well variable and then we say op audio play two dot play play well and now we can uh, switch volume And it works. So now we can also think about to make the playback more interesting. For example, uh, we can control the panorama directly from script. So we can write comma pan is equal tdu dot rand from well. Ooh. 
and that way we can make the control of playback much more detailed. Okay, that's all for now. And uh, thank you and see you soon in the next tutorial.